So I started my idea for the design brief with the idea of what it'd be like to shop as a visually impaired person. And Dunsore is where I work. Because a while back I helped uh, an elderly woman who was blind shop around the store. Obviously as she couldn't do it herself. So after thinking about issues that someone with a visual impairment or complete blindness might have doing their shop, I started to think what it would be like if they couldn't do their shopping at all during COVID. So I know there's a lot of people who've started shopping online. I started to think about what it would be like to have to shop online if you were also an elderly person or someone who couldn't go out to do the shopping because of COVID, if you were high risk. So I thought of the idea that, well, if everyone else is using apps like Buy Me or shopping online through Tesco, what would it be like to be blind or visually impaired and try to do that? So what I did for uh, the analysis was I blindfolded myself with this and I basically just trialed and errored as many times as possible to see what would, what were the problems in shopping online if you have a visual impairment. And time after time, I'd come across a problem within the first 10, 15 seconds of starting again after resolving the last problem. And I realized there are lots of things you can do along the way to help you, but none of it is really streamlined. So I started by looking for screen readers and text to speech readers. So I looked up all the different ones. The one that I came across the most often was called Chromevox Screen Reader. It didn't have the best ratings. It wasn't as highly rated as all the other ones, but it had by far most downloads from the ones I had looked into and also seemed to be very common on websites that I found. So as I was trying to figure out ways to help myself along the process, I found every single time I wanted to get a new accessibility tool or extension, it ended up being a problem in itself just getting these extensions themselves. Because generally speaking, there wasn't any way for me to talk to my laptop to say, I need you to do this, I need you to do that. So I can imagine as a blind person trying to get a laptop to work for you without someone else doing it for you would be a nightmare. On top of this, there wasn't any way for me to navigate around the screen without using the touchpad or the, the uh, arrow buttons. So trying to get from one step to the next without without multiple trials and um, trying to just constantly click on new things, wait for the screen reader to tell me what I'm clicking on and then hope that when I click on it, it will do what I want it to do, which a lot of the time it didn't. Um, everything seemed very, even though the screen reader was telling me where everything was, it all seemed to not make sense while I was visually impaired. So I could use the touchpad but I found the sensitivity on the touchpad. I never knew how far I was actually scrolling on the screen. So it all just became one big blur. So I used the five whys and the flow analysis uh, methods to kind of just try grasp how this would work. The five whys, I basically just throughout the process constantly kept asking myself the question, why is this bothering me? Or why do I want to do this? Or why would this help me in this situation? And you keep asking the question why and you do start to get some answers that you wouldn't think you'd even give yourself. Then the flow analysis, it was actually really good. Um, I found that it was much easier to identify certain problems along the process that I found difficult rather than trying to look at the whole process as a problem. You could figure out which points of the process, which steps were a problem and then incorporate solutions from there. I found the most helpful way in the end to do all this was to use a screen reader, uh, try to just get a grasp of how the touchpad works when you can't actually see where you're scrolling and also just using any tools or access any accessibility tools like voice search or voice to text that i could get on the laptop or the phone um made a big difference as well